show is called Words Fingers, where the words we live, not for the meat. I'm your ever loving host, Michael C. Watson, sitting here basking in the glory of all that is Janet Kuyper's <laughs> billboard. <laughs> Oh, he's looking at me. He wants more, more, more. I want more, um, more, more, because this, this show should be less me and more you. Oh, it's, it's all about that. Right. <laughs> um, I've also done series poems where I would write six, seven, eight poems about one thing, about dreams, childhood memories, bad traumas that people have had. Um, this is one of them called She Told Me Her Dreams. This is number one. We were at some sort of showing, some sort of exhibit, where they were displaying the glass sculpture. It was 83 billion years old, and it was more smooth than anything. And it went on and on, one smooth curve after another. It was so old. And they displayed it on the water. It was on a lake or the ocean. It rested on the water, religiously. And I was in the water with someone, a man, I don't know who, and we were swimming around it, touching it. He was on the other side, told me to swim under it. I, I didn't know if I could make it across, but I went under. Across I went. I kept feeling the sides, the smoothness. Somehow it transcribed along the sides of the sculpture was a timeline, a record of history. There wasn't much at 83 billion years ago, but there was more and more the closer we got to present. Uh, I remember reading Lyndon Johnson's name, and then I saw information about the future. It, it was all in the glass. I was looking at it, but I can't remember what it says. And that was a dream that someone had. Someone else's dream. Yeah, yeah, okay. that was, she told me, no, that wasn't one of my dreams. Okay, okay. Oh, because I get stories from...